at present aju's age is four times of biju's age and chintu is three years younger to aju three years hence the respective ratio between biju's age at that time and chintu's age at that time will be three is to ten what will be aju's age three years hence right now if you can calculate present age of aju you can calculate pre aju's age after three years right now aju's age is how many times of biju's age four times and four times of biju's age now you are given biju's age in terms of ratio yes or no when was this after three years after three years biju's age is how many parts come on three parts three parts in this and should be a multiple of when is this if it is after 3 years 3 multiple then present also 3 multiple yes. so you know that present age of biju's age is a multiple of 3 but aju's age is what multiple 4 multiple yes or no 4 multiple and 3 multiple in the sense 12 multiple so you can conclude aju's age as 12 multiple but you are asked to calculate aju's age after 3 years so if you subtract 3 years then it should be 12 multiple first option minus 3 multiple minus 3 will that be 12 multiple no. second option minus 3 yes. yes third option minus 3 no. fourth option minus 3 no. fifth option minus 3 no. final answer present age of hari is equal to greg's age 6 years ago 3 years hence greg's age and hari's age ratio will be 7 is to 5 at that time what is hari's present age right you are asked about hari's present age hari's age is 6 years more than greg 6 years less than greg yes or no greg's age is equal to hari's age plus 6 right next 3 years hence ratio is given as 7 is to 5 after 3 years greg will be what multiple after 3 years greg's age will be what multiple 7 multiple so greg's age will be 7 multiple after 3 years so to get present age of greg you need to subtract 3 years yes or no and hari's age is 6 years less than greg am i right so from this you can say hari's age is equal to 7 multiple minus 9 7 multiple will be greg's age after 3 years to get present age you have to subtract 3 and again after that you have to subtract 6 to get hari's age total you need to subtract 9 years yes or no and now what is your question about hari's age hari's age in the sense when you add 9 years to hari's age that will be equal to greg's age after 3 years are you getting my point yes. after 3 years greg's age is what multiple yes. right so conclusion is hari's present age plus 6 years will be greg's present age plus 3 years will be greg's age after 3 years so total hari's age plus 9 years will be equal to greg's age after 3 years and that should be 7 multiple yes first option plus 9 is that 7 multiple second option plus 9 come on third option plus 9 fourth option plus 9 fifth option plus 9 final answer the respective ratio between present age of p and q is 11 is to 7 respective ratio between p age 2 years ago and q age 2 years see 2 years ago 2 years hence this is different yes or no hence let's calculate it P's percentage and Q's percentage ratio is given as 11 is to 9. Hence, I can take it as 11 parts and 7 parts. Now you are asked to calculate. You are asked to take P's age two years back, so minus 2, and Q's age after two years plus 2, and the ratio is given as 7 is to 5. Let's simplify. 11 five times, 7 seven, seven times, 55 parts, 49 parts. Difference, six parts. Minus two into five, minus ten. Seven into two, fourteen. Minus ten goes to right hand side, becomes plus ten. Fourteen plus ten, fifty-four. 
24. If 6 parts is equal to 24, 1 part is equal to 4. 11 parts, 44. 7 parts, 28. So their percentages are 44 and come on, 28. Now what is the respective ratio between P's age 7 years hence? After 7 years P will be how much? 51. Q's age 7 years ago. 7 years ago in the sense 21. 51 by 21. Cancellation with 3. 3 how many times? 17 times by 7 times. Third option answer. A's age 6 years hence will be equal to half of B's age 4 years hence. C is 14 years younger than B. 14 years younger than B. So B minus 14. If the respective ratio between ages of A and C is 2 is to 3. What is B's present? Right. You are asked about B's present. See from B's present age, if you subtract 14 years, you should get C age. From the ratio, C age is how many parts? Should be a multiple of 3. So from B's age, you need to subtract 14. That should be a multiple of 3. Subtract 14 from this. Is it 3 multiple? No. Subtract 14 from next number. 18. Is 18 3 multiple? That may be your answer. Hold it. Subtract 14 from third option, 16. 16 is not 3 multiple. Subtract 14 from 28, 14. 14 is 3 multiple. 14 is not 3 multiple. 36 minus 14, 22. 22 is not 3 multiple. Only option, 32. You know that C should be 3 multiple. C age will be B age minus 14. Subtract 14 from B's percentage, that should be 3 multiple, which is C's percentage. Ardhaminda? Yes or no? Right. Four years ago, Raj age was three times of Tina's age at that time. Let me see the question. You are asked about Raj's present age. Yes or no? Come on, come on. First condition says, Raj's age four years back was how many times they said? Three times in the sense should be a multiple of three. When was this? Four years back. You know that four years back, Raj's age was? 3 multiple and to get percentage how many years you need to add 4 years to the one number two, 3 multiple if you add 4 will you get 3 multiple 3 multiple plus 4 will it be 3 multiple first option cannot be your answer second option cannot be your answer fourth option cannot be your answer fifth option cannot be your answer final answer 3 multiple plus 4 cannot be 3 multiple I am cancelling, I am eliminating four options based on three multiple. All those numbers are three multiples. You will not get three multiple as answer. Hence, third option, final answer. A sage eight years ago was equal to twice of B sage two years ago. C is six years older than B. If the respective ratio between present age of A and C is eight is to five, B's present age is right. From the ratio, C's present age is how much? 5 parts. And you also know that C's age is 6 years more than B's age. So B's age plus 6 will give you C's age and that should be multiple of 5. Oh, 24 good in the? Right. Two options are there. Now, let me take first option. If B's present age is 14, B says 2 years ago, 12. 2 times of that, 24. A says 8 years ago was 24. Then percentage of A is equal to plus 8. How much is this? 32. Is it 8 multiple? Yes or no? Satisfied? If you can eliminate third option, yes, come on, do it. Percentage of B is 24. 2 years ago, 22. 2 times of that, 44. So A's age, 8 years ago was 44. Then percentage of A is plus 8. That is equal to 52. Is 52 8 multiple? Can this be your answer? Final answer. 